lower waste water port. It's about three to four inches long. And uh, Mission Control in Houston right now is, uh, is assessing the situation. The large crystal that weighed probably five to 10, 15 pounds was knocked off just a few minutes ago, about 10 minutes ago, with, by using the remote controlled arm. The decision now is being made as to whether or not they will. by Capcom. Dave Hilmer, the uh, flight control team, has uh, elected to uh, uh, leave the uh, remaining ice crystal untouched. Uh, that determination based on the fact that uh, it uh, appears to be porous uh, and uh, very uh, um, spongy ice, not uh, hard or solid uh, material of uh, probably only four or five inches in uh, length and uh, would not represent it. Go ahead, Judy. So that's the uh, okay, decision the by Mission Control. They will not attempt to remove the remaining three to four inches of very spongy or porous ice. Uh, they feel it does not constitute a hazard, even if it breaks off during re-entry. Uh, again, just to update you, they have successfully, successfully knocked off that huge uh, ice buildup that was on the top uh, wastewater port with, by using the remote control arm. Uh, another first for the mission of discovery and we'll continue our extended coverage two feet long and weighing as much as 20 pounds efforts to shake loose the ice by firing the shuttle's reaction control system rockets this morning failed and mission control gave the crew the green light to go ahead with the next option and that was to attempt to break the ice away from the waste port by tapping it with the end of the remote control arm Mission Specialist Judy Resnick maneuvered the arm carefully into position, maintaining critical clearance between the shuttle's cargo bay doors and the shuttle's wing surface. Commander Henry Hartsfield then took control of the arm, moving it the last six feet to the ice buildup. Then in the blind, without actually seeing the ice crystal, there you saw pieces of it, the arm moved against the crystal, breaking loose the largest chunk on the upper port. Elated ground controllers congratulated the crew and the arm, as it was pulled away, it was clear, as you can see from that vertical line at the bottom of your screen, that the top port, they had in fact knocked off a large mass of ice. All that remained was a very, very small three to four inch piece of skeletal-like ice. The remaining ice was considered small, so small that no further attempt will be made to remove it and that it constitutes no safety or damage hazard to the spacecraft. 